You did good today. Really good. You might not see it. You might think it was just another day, but it wasn't. Every step you took today was a step forward, no matter how small. You faced challenges, you overcame obstacles, and you kept moving. Remember, every effort counts. You're building a better tomorrow. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you five days that you need to schedule into your planner, into your life every single month. A month has 30 days and you just need five days to get these things done so you can definitely make time for it. The new year is fast approaching and I don't want the year to fly past without me doing certain things and in order to do those certain things I need to schedule it in, I need to plan for it in order for me to make it happen. In the new year let us change things up, let us not wait until the entire year passes us by for us to wonder what we did. These are five days that I think that you should schedule into your planner, into your life every month. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it is so easy to lose sight of what is truly important. Your well-being, your happiness, as well as the relationships that you cultivate. Whether it's social, work obligations, or family responsibilities, our busy schedules can often leave so little time for ourselves. That is why it is so essential to schedule specific days every month dedicated to recharging, refocusing, and having fun just for you. So here are my five days that I think you should definitely schedule into your month. A month has 30 days and you just need five of those days. So there is no excuse to not put aside these days and make time for what is truly important and that is your well-being. First up, you need to get your life together day. This is a day where you do all of the errands that you have. This is a day where you do things like going grocery shopping, paying any bills that you need to pay, maybe returning something if that is the case and that has been on your list for like a month. This is a day that you're going to take to do a deep cleaning of your space and that is tackle those things that you don't really tackle on a daily basis. Maybe it is a bank appointment that you're putting off. Maybe it is a health appointment, a wellness appointment that you're putting off. This is the day that you're gonna go ahead and get your life together. Get those appointments out of the way, get that monthly cleaning out of the way, and tackle those things that you may always just be putting off on your to-do list, because I know that there are things on your to-do list that you have been avoiding, like the plague, and we are not about that, especially as the new year is approaching. We need to be booked, and we need to be busy, and we need to just schedule in to just get those tasks out of the way and just out of our mind. Next up, it is time to schedule in a learning day or something where you get to be creative. Now, I told you guys in one of my last videos that I did take a kimchi class and it was so exciting. I did it with my best friend and it was just something new to do. There are so many other little activities that you can find if you just check in your community and check in your area. At my shop, I love hosting activities and workshops. So we have done like things like ceramic painting of Christmas mugs, pumpkins, as well as watercolor note cards, tags, and stuff like that. Honestly, life is so short and we forget all about learning new things as we get older we just discard those things and put it aside thinking that learning has to be boring or it has to be something that is very mundane when that is not the case we need to remember to change our mindset so that we can embrace learning and look forward to it we can pick up new activities and new hobbies and do different things to expand our horizons and just make us a little bit more interesting honestly because i love a good conversation starter in this creative and learning space as well this is the day that you want to make sure and focus on the things that you are passionate about whether it's building a puzzle or doing a paint by numbers is just focusing on something that you feel very very creative and passionate about during the week and during the month in general we might not get a chance to always focus on the things that we love and focus on being creative and that is where the learning aspect as well as the following our passions and doing something that we love comes in because if you don't get to do it on a daily basis the least you can do is do it on a monthly basis just once a day schedule in that day to focus on your passions or to focus on learning something new i definitely have a list of things that i want to try one of them being pottery I think that would be something that is so much fun to take a class on as well as candle making those are the two things that are on my list that I cannot wait to go ahead and try and see how that goes so instead of letting everyone pass you by without doing something fun or without following your passions and your dreams and being creative this is a great time to maybe set aside that day for me I love like a weekend and maybe a Saturday class or Sunday class or something like that this is so random but I ran a 5k earlier this year well I'm, I'm not gonna lie I walked 
and I actually signed up for a next one with my friend and it's something that I'm so excited about because it's something so new and so different for me and something that is such like a learning experience and I definitely think that I want to do more 5Ks in the next year and I would not even have known about the 5K life if I didn't try it once. And I'm not any kind of big runner, we're just walking and having a good time, just chatting and enjoying ourselves and our company. Next up is a solo date where we take ourselves out and do something, whether it's going to a cafe to have some matcha and eat a pastry, going to a bookstore, maybe it is our beauty maintenance day where we schedule in our nails and our lashes or hair, just something that you're doing for you as an act of self-care. Also, I would absolutely love if you comment down below and let me know what is one day that you absolutely have to have. Maybe something that I didn't mention, I'm so curious to know if you have like days where you like doing specific things or solo days by yourself. I think that this will be really great so we can all get some ideas of solo dates and things that we can do. I have been so intimidated by solo dates but if you guys watched some of my videos on my channel earlier this year I did do solo dating and I did go on solo dates even in a different country. I went Puerto Rico and I had a full solo date by myself and it was absolutely empowering and something that I'm definitely looking forward to again. I'm actually thinking about booking another solo trip next year. I don't know, fingers crossed, we'll see how that goes, but I'm so excited to just embrace those days where I can do things on my own, where I don't feel like if I need to stop my life waiting for somebody and waiting for a partner and waiting for an amazing guy to like come into my life, I can like date myself. Things that I would normally do would be like going to a flower shop, getting something really nice to drink. I don't always do it, but I love browsing bookstores, but I'm trying not to buy like a ton of books because I have a few that I still need to read. I also do my lashes and my nails and get my laser done, so I always like have having a day just to do those things because other than that you might feel like if you're rushing about and you don't have the time to do it when my friend you definitely definitely do on your self-care solo day you can also just stay at home you don't always have to go out you can stay at home put on something comfortable to wear make a cozy cup of tea make some delicious pasta watch some netflix do a skincare routine and just stay really nice and cozy so it's all about finding that balance it's not always about going out per se on your solo date it is just really taking that time Time to make it all about you and focus on yourself and take yourself away from the hustle and bustle and the mundane life. Next up, this is something that I've been really inspired by my friend and there is a day where she always messages me and she says that she's doing a digital detox and as somebody who is always on social media, who's always on my screen, whether it's for work, whether it's for creating content, I have loved this idea so much because it's basically one day where I just don't go on my social apps, as simple as that. The app that I will make an exception for is YouTube and Pinterest honestly because I don't like doom scroll on those but like Instagram let me just say I have been on a doom scrolling trend with Instagram and I need to just get myself out of that I don't even have TikTok I just think it's a very toxic app so I don't even have that but if you have like apps where you know that you doom scroll a lot where you just scroll forever and like before you know it five minutes turn into like 50 minutes this is your day to just come off of those apps. Nothing is gonna happen. The app is still gonna be there when you check your phone for it. What you can do is actually put the app into a different folder for that day so you don't have that temptation because Instagram is like the first app on my phone. Like you guys, let me just show you. Instagram is like the first app, like it's right there. So this is the app that I tend to just gravitate towards. I wouldn't even be thinking about it and before you know it, I'm pressing Instagram and I'm in Instagram and I'm like, how did I even get here? So it's that app that you kind of impulse go on without even realizing it just take a detox from that app for that day and I have been feeling so empowered since I've started doing that because I've realized how much time I just waste on these apps and you can actually check it out on your screen time there was a day where I spent up to four hours on Instagram and I'm like how did I spend four hours like scrolling so that was kind of a wake-up call for me if you would like a wake-up call go ahead and check out your screen time and see and that would be your sign to make sure and take a digital detox day and on that day do something else go Go for a walk outside, read that book you've always been putting off, make that recipe that you always keep checking but you never actually do. There are so many things that we have to do and life, I always say, life is meant to be living, not meant to be in front of a phone or a screen all the time. Let us snap out of it and let us start living life again without being consumed by a phone or an app because the app is always going to be there but your time, my friend, is not.
And last up, because it's all about balance, we're going to have a social day. And I think this is so important because I have gone periods of times where I don't even see my friends. That, of course, has changed so much now because we have always made time for each other, even if it's just one day. For instance, going on the 5K or taking a cooking class or just doing something like that. It's like a friendship date. As we get older in everybody's lives, we start to do different things. We start to be consumed by home, kids, work, and all of these things. And sometimes we can lose track of our friendships and that is just so sad when you really think about it because before you know it you might be so much older and you have not even seen your friend who lives in the same country for years that actually happened to me once and i just used that as a wake-up call because i didn't want to be like that anymore and even though we live very very far apart from each other we always schedule in that one day at least to make sure that we meet up with each other so don't let it be a situation where you just let time pass and you lose your friendships think about planning planning a girl's date, maybe have your friends come over and everyone take turns hosting each other, doing something fun, having a DIY night, having a cocktail night, having a game night, having a paint night and just doing different things like that to really cement your friendship and nurture and nourish it without time flying and then you're never seeing them again. This might not be a whole day that you have to schedule in, you can schedule a part of that day, maybe the night, the evening, the morning for brunch. Trust me, you will feel so amazing when you rekindle your friendships and when you start finding that balance of managing your personal relationships with your family and your kids and whoever as well as your friendships and having the people who mean so much to you in your life i hope that you enjoyed this video thumbs it up if you did and if you'd like to see more content like this for me don't forget to also subscribe so you won't miss a thing thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Mwah.